now. What are economists worried about in that trade war? Christina Aleshi is here. She is going to talk to us about what is going on with trade. We just had the debate with The Economist. Today, we actually had movement on trade, but not in the direction that we wanted to see it. I mean, the tariffs came in, into being their reality now. They are reality, and this is a ratcheting up of tensions, right? This is the tit for tat between the U.S. and China. The, the, the U.S. imposed uh, tariffs on $16 billion worth of goods. China retaliated quite swiftly. China also took the additional measure of filing a complaint with the WTO today. So we're not seeing a de-escalation at all. Now, the optimists would point to the fact that Chinese officials are here in the U.S. meeting with Treasury officials today uh, and yesterday to talk about a potential deal. But no one um, I've spoken to today, and I've spoken to a lot of people, thinks that a deal can come out of these talks. So it's, the, yes, the Chinese are at the table. Yes, there are talks going on. But what's to come of them is the big unanswered question here. In the meantime, CEOs are trying to figure out how to run their businesses and how to save how to save potential uh, the, the companies from laying people off because of the tariffs. And we were just talking about trade as one of the downsides to that Trump a uh, Trump economics. Another one seems to be the immigration policies of the Trump administration, and we have business stepping up and basically saying we don't like where this is going. Right. The the preeminent CEO business group uh, that that does a lot of like lobbying in in Washington D.C. put out a letter today saying that. The, the, the immigration policies of this administration has created, have created a lot of disruption in their business. In fact, uh, they pointedly said that these policies have resulted in arbitrary and inconsistent adjudications for many of their foreign workers, and that impacts business operations, right? You can't have perhaps some of your most talented employees. In some cases, we're talking about STEM, people in you know, engineering jobs, in, um, in, in science jobs. Those are competitive, and they're tough to get um, employees to come over. And once you get them over, there's this whole question mark over their status. It creates a, a, a lot of disruption. You know, people forget that, yes, CEOs love Trump because of the tax cuts and the deregulations, but the deregulation that's taken place. But they also do not like him for all of this uncertainty over trade and immigration the unpredictability and the divisiveness that's putting them on the spot, right? They've got people like me calling and saying, like, the president just says something divisive. Are you going to stand with him on this or that? CEOs don't like that. They shy away from controversy because they don't want to alienate, alienate any of their customers. No. So. And, and again, it's not very predictable in terms of what will happen to them through that business cycle. Christina Leshy continues to follow both issues. We appreciate that. Now